<laughs> it's good stuff. Good stuff. Do enjoy that one. Okay, going slightly off the horror theme here, but sticking very much with the horror type theme, and it's more of a psychological thriller, this one. Of course, it is Manhunter. Now, this one, for me, the reason I picked up this one, I actually couldn't wait to go back and learn about it and re-watch it, having seen it many, many years ago. Of course, directed by Michael Mann and starring William Peterson in a great role as Will Graham. Brian Cox is Hannibal Lecter. A great psycho bad guy turn from Tom Noonan as the Tooth Fairy. Pick this one up after watching the superb Hannibal TV show with Mads Mikkelsen as a younger Dr. Hannibal Lecter. And Hugh Dancy as Will Graham. And it's Dancy's portrayal of Will Graham that really, really gave me an appreciation of the character and his dark relationship with Hannibal Lecter, who of course is feeding off of his very being, draining him of his very life force, really makes William Peterson's role in Manhunter stand out and make a lot more sense to me as to why he was the central character rather than Hannibal Lecter, because of course the Hollywood movies that uh, followed with The Silence of the Lambs, etc., really centers on Hannibal Lecter. But this Manhunter movie <clears throat> is more centered on Will Graham's character. And when you watch the TV series that uh, played earlier this year, you just have full appreciation of Hugh Dancy's great performance and his spiral into losing his, his mind, so to speak, because Hannibal Lecter is well and truly inside of his head and getting into his psyche, really eating into his bone marrow itself. It is such a wonderful, wonderful TV show and uh, one of the best TV shows I've seen for a long, long time and definitely, definitely in my top five of the year. This is just fun, fun stuff. Really, really is a psychological thriller of the top order. Please do let me know what your thoughts are on this one and how you compare it to the traditional uh, Hannibal Lecter movies that uh, Hollywood have delivered. But this for me has really now gone up several notches in my estimation from having watched it many years ago, probably because I saw it in a very poor or very average quality copy that uh, showed on TV. And of course seeing it, although it's not Blu-ray, it is a very good DVD release and this one's got several edits of the movie as well and uh, but uh, I chose to stick with the cinematic release which is pretty much the complete vision of what uh, the director Michael Mann wanted so very very cool stuff there's the tooth theory himself and uh, of course Brian Cox on the right is Hannibal Lecter and William Peterson as Will Graham on the left all starring in Man Hunter Hannibal Lecter's legacy of evil begins here, and so it does. Cool, cool stuff indeed. Very, very good. Very much like that. Now, in keeping with the uh, dark comedy horror and uh, Hollywood goodness in the background there, let's get on to some good old-fashioned classic UK horror. And, oh, Mrs. What a carry-on. Carry on screaming. And there's Odd Job, Odd Job there, the creature, Frankenstein mutation type creature. He scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Absolutely had nightmares, not for weeks later, but for months later. I was very young, and uh, I know it's only a PG movie, but it scared the crap out of me. And uh, there we are, some babylicious goodness there as well. Can't go wrong with Carry On Screaming, just such a lot of fun and uh, can't wait to get into this one again and see it and uh, enjoy it and have a, a really good giggle with this one. Lots and lots of fun and uh, really is one of the best, if not the best for me, carry on film in all of the movies that have been made down the years. Great stuff, truly is a great, great carry on. Carry on screaming, good, good, good stuff. Really enjoy that one, really, 
looking forward to it again. Now moving on to some more classic horror goodness, this time from Italy. And we've got The Slaughter of the Vampires. Now this one, haven't seen, looking forward to it. It's a dark sky video release and they tend to do some really, really good releases. And this one is in its original aspect ratio. And a black and white movie, I do believe. And uh, although this is uh, showing obviously a colour cover as they always do, this is, I'm pretty certain it is a black and white movie, but uh, in its original aspect ratio and looking very, very good indeed. Can't wait to see this one. Anybody that's seen this one, please do share your thoughts on it with me, let me know. Uh, but uh, can't wait to enjoy some good old Italian horror goodness there. Can't go wrong with the Italian Euro horror movies, really. And this one looks very, very good indeed. And that's Slaughter of the Vampires. Good stuff. Okay, and um, just to finish off now, this one has been quite a long video, but it's Christmas time, and hopefully you guys have got time to spend and share it with me. But uh, let's get into not really a horror movie, more a horror drama documentary. It's Man of a Thousand Faces and it is about the life story of the great, great Lon Chaney himself. Not Lon Chaney Jr, but Lon Chaney, the horror actor, the Man of a Thousand Faces, as the movie title suggests. And uh, this is another great, great horror documentary. There's Lon Chaney as the Hunchback of Notre Dame, one of his great classic horror movies. And of course his makeup is exemplary, really set the standard. And uh, what Lon Chaney gave for his art in his horror films is so, so laudable and creditable. He really is a great legend of the horror scene, absolutely classic. This is the story of Lon Chaney and his rise from vaudeville act to multi-faceted movie star and his struggle in private life to deal with the bigotry towards his deaf and mute mother and father. Not just from society, but from his own wife, no less. A fascinating study of a truly incredible, hard-working talent yet ultimately a tragic one as well, from the toil of hand work upon him and the makeup that he hand applied and all the goodness that he applied. It really is a story of hard graft, but ultimately a tragic one. Now the irony of his wife's self-harm in real life and the architect of Lon Chaney's death almost symbolizes with the dawn of talking movie pictures. It all comes together from changing from the silent movies that he was a huge star into the talking pictures. It all was a lot for him to have taken on. Great performance from James Cagney no less in the lead role as Lon Chaney as well as a very good supporting cast. Now Lon Chaney by James Cagney, here, incredibly, not the gangster with the stilted inflections and sure footed strut, but a performance befitting the role and a fine reflection on Cagney's ability as a very, very competent and accomplished director. Very good performance indeed. This is a real highlight and for fans of movies, horror films, and particularly of Lon Chaney and the golden era of silent movies into the talkies is a classic, classic find. Very much worth your time picking up this one. And this release, I'm really delighted to say, is in its full uncut and proper aspect ratio, full widescreen, 235 to one release. This is the American DVD release in NTSC region a what is a wonderful wonderful movie definitely worth your time and just encapsulate encapsulate shall i say with my teeth in the right place 
it just encapsulates all that is really important about old school horror movie making. Man of a Thousand Faces, classic, classic stuff, and a perfect place to finish this horror DVD update. And just remains for me to say thank you to everybody once again for watching. Have a very, very happy Christmas and a wonderful, wonderful New Year. Take care, everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.